badgers. And they're coming out, coming in along here, feeding out here. We've got another feeder just there, so they're coming out there. So that's sort of one zone we'll be able to get. Last time we saw just how bad Roy's rat problem was. We know they're not daft beasts, and the ones that are lacking in the grey cell department, Roy has taken care of. This job will require the skills of Sir Stealth a lot, and Darren was happy to step in with his FX Bobcat, March Scope, and Night Sight Eagle on top. But first, he needs to assess the situation and take the edge off his FAC. That's one good thing with the FX, which is why I wanted to come around while it's daylight, because we're on rats, I'm just going to wind it down, 12 foot pound, take it back to a normal rifle, it's as simple as that, just turn the wheel, or I can even go down to 6 on this one, so that's now set at 6 foot pound, so I'll just check my zero, um, especially in here, what are we talking, 15 yards tops, yep. you know, so 12 foot pound is going to be more than perfect for what we're going to be doing tonight. But this, this is going to be ideal place to, it's just here isn't it? Okay just from here. Darren finds a good spot, but Roy says it needs more, a lot more. Now, some might say that a large erection suddenly popping up might phase the rats. Roy says no. It's camouflaged, of course they won't notice it. Darren settles down with thermal plus the night vision to give us the best possible chance. I've got the eagle on because I got all the way down to Roy's and realised I'd forgotten any infrared illumination for David to film with. So I've got both, but I think rather than messing around, we just stick the eagle on. And everybody knows we will be able to film with the broadcast camera and I will be able to see what's going on. And all should be good in the world. Let's just hope there's plenty of rats. It's not long before we start seeing the culprits. We've got three rats that are already David. That was a monster of a rat. The image is clear through the March scope. The night vision also shows off the illuminated reticle. The rats are not exactly in plague proportions, but we do get a couple of satisfying shots. Darren has only recently started using a heads up night vision unit, but in this situation, it's very comfortable. <laughs> And I've got to say, I'm very impressed with this heads-up style of shooting, which is something that I said I would never get used to. But in a situation like this, the way David and I are sat, a nice comfy chair, I've got my shooting sticks in front of me, and I can just, obviously with an empty rifle, this is, uh, just gently scanning left and right. Because David's running the main camera, and he's also spotting with the thermal for me as well to make life easier. But it's actually quite relaxing just sitting here waiting for these rats to come out. All it needs now is some food. And there, just like the shopkeeper in Mr Ben, Roy turns up to tell us it's time to come home and celebrate with kebab, of we course. Kebabs, yeah, kebab time, boys. 